Oh no, I don't think I should say this on camera. <laughs> Mom and dad don't watch this. I was in college and we played like strip poker. But the funny thing is that's how I realized I was good at poker because I was never naked. Everybody else, we we're playing like seven card stud. This is so long ago, that's how old I am. And I was like, oh shoot, I'm kind of good at this. Like, sorry guys. So that was my first ever contact, funny word with poker. <laughs> Yes. Um, you told me that before, and I, I love that story, but you were known as such a fashion icon in the poker industry. Um, but it, it wasn't always the case, right? You weren't always confident to you know, be yourself and express yourself through your clothes. Can you tell us about that journey? Yeah, so I remember like, I always wanted to dress down when I went to play because as some people that know me, like if everyone's staring at me, it actually makes me uncomfortable. I'm just not good with that kind of stuff. And so I just didn't want the attention at the table. And I thought, and I think a lot of women sometimes do this. I'm gonna be serious, I'm gonna wear my hoodie, I'm gonna wear my hat, I'm gonna be taken seriously. And so that's kind of how I would go and play some cash here and there. And I remember being out with friends in Vegas one night and they said, we wanna play cash. And I was like, I am dressed up to go out. I'm not sitting at a poker table like this. And they convinced me to. And I remember I went and I won more money that I never won and I was like, huh. And then I just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of naturally came where I was like, I'm just going to be myself. I'm not someone that wears like hoodies and that kind of stuff. So like, I'm just going to wear what I want to wear and just be myself at the table. And yeah, it's it's good. I, I like doing that. <laughs> I'd much rather dress the way I enjoy than like, it's funny because some women will say, I wish I could dress like you, but it's not comfortable. I was like, I'm a psycho. This is actually comfortable. Like six inch heels is actually where I feel comfortable, <laughs> you know? Um, you've had some incredible successes over the last few years. Um, can you tell us, can you tell us like some of your favorite or your favorite moment when it comes to, I don't know, winning a live tournament, winning an online tournament? Is there one that sparks to your mind when I put the camera in your face and say, what's your favorite Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, obviously winning ever your first live tournament is great. I've been lucky to do it three times, which I feel like is kind of crazy because winning a live tournament is really hard to do. But the one that really sticks with me is my circuit ring because I wanted one so bad and I'd gotten so close. My stupid husband beat me heads up once for the ring. <laughs> and like, yeah, I don't know. It's just something and some people were like, oh, she's crazy. She wants this more than a bracelet. But I really did because it felt so close so often I couldn't get it. And when I finally won, it was so funny. I was home alone. And I won and I was like, oh my God, no one's here. I can't even like high five someone. And I was like, shoot, this is like, and then I started crying and I was just like by myself. And then later Chris came home and it was funny. And then I got to tell him, he's like, how'd you do? And I was like 10th and he's like, man, that's so unfair. I was like, gotcha, I won. So it was, it was really fun. But yeah, that was one that actually really stuck with me, even though it was so much smaller than, you know, any other one, but it just meant a lot. We're just out here in the Bahamas at the moment. Uh, you travel around to poker a lot, um, adapting your outfits as you travel from one stop to the next. What's your favorite, what's your favorite poker city to play in and why? Ah, poker city to play in. <sighs> That's a good question. I mean, I always have a good time in London. We were just at, in London for a tournament there and I love London fashion. That's very fun. I actually had a really good time doing my outfits for this trip. Like, I put a lot of effort into it and just wanted to have a fun time with like thinking, you know, very tropical or like, okay, I'm gonna go with this whole theme. And obviously it's nice too, you bust here, you can't be mad, you go to the beach, like, it's a fun time, you know, everybody's here. You always have someone to hang out with. Um, and then I love also playing in Vegas because just being at home is so nice. Like, you bust, you get to go to your own bed. There's nothing that beats that.